words are not adequate enough to say what this exhibit means to us. Justice for all. Justice for all simply means that when you say those words, that's an inclusive statement that simply means while our history is valuable, it is also an inclusive history that involves every fabric, every person in this city and in these United States. So when you look at an exhibit like that, it's not only just a remembrance, but it's a practical approach to what we're going to be doing next. Uh, the exhibit is an exciting uh, moment for us. Uh, this exhibit comes from collections of the University of South Carolina. Uh, it provides the public uh, an opportunity to learn more about the civil rights movement in South Carolina. So when some, someone looks at the exhibit, they see photographs, they see newspapers, oral interviews, video footage of events in South Carolina uh, that most do not know about. And we're particularly excited to partner with the City of Columbia and Parks and Recreation uh, to make this exhibit available to the broader public, particularly here in the historic uh, Waverly community. The goal is to travel. So this exhibit has been on the USC campus. It's been in Sumter, South Carolina. It is now here in Columbia. Next week, we go to Orangeburg, South Carolina. We'll go elsewhere around the state as well. Uh, and ultimately, the exhibit will have a permanent place at historic Booker T. Washington High School, a historic uh, Afro-American school only a few blocks from King Park. I think the impact is education. Um, so much of this history is not widely known, is not in textbooks, is not taught in classrooms. So we're of the mind that those who enter King Park, who come here for recreation, can also be educated about the history of civil rights and particularly the critical role that young people played in the movement. Thank you for allowing your legacy and what you've done for us, both you and I.S. Levy Johnson, to pour into us as Bobby Donaldson pours into all of us. Thank you so very much.